Hey Sagittarius, welcome back everyone. Hope you're doing fabulous guys. I've been up since like really early this morning in the dark watching outside my yard. I saw a mama bear and her two cubs. It was interesting why I was awoken and I put the coffee on and I sat looking out in the dark and I saw this dark figure go by and I'm like, okay why'd you wake me up to see this then it was interesting guys the mama bear she sits on the hillside watching her babies play in my yard <laughs> and it is too funny it's like I had prayed yesterday for protection over my family and my children and so that was my affirmation that indeed my prayer was heard. And now there was two cubs. And <laughs> my granddaughter had left a boogie board on the beach where she, you know, those, it's a boogie board anyway. The cubs start playing with the boogie board. I couldn't believe it. They had that thing dragged up the beach and tried to take it with them. <laughs> so it's like kids, you know, it's a strong messages about children. And I'm not sure why, but if you were concerned about your children, know that they are protective. And you could be the protective mom of bear for all I know. But there's, there's more to it. And remember, I told you guys that there was a loon. Well, now that loon is with the mate. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Yeah, I was up at dawn, before dawn. It's heralding new beginnings things to do with home stability rebirth Sagittarius strength protection rebirth and dawn Something is really, um, something about early morning, it is. I was woken before daybreak, before the dawn. I guess it's just Spirit's way of letting us know that we are being protected. But there's something more significant going on that I'm not picking up on. Sag. Okay. Hang on. Someone's asking why? Why the change? Why am I being orphaned? Or if you were thinking you're old, this is a masculine energy. You're being blessed with peace. Or somebody wanting peace with you. Explain this. Um, energy here.
stability. This is a tower. Working. Oh, jeez. This is the masculine going through a tower. What? What is this? The sword is out, and someone is looking at the sword. Ooh, this is love. It is. Someone is overwhelmed. Stuck in a nightmare. Something to do... Oh my God. About a child. This is a father. Worried about a child. Been waiting and wishing for change. What is this saying? Wishing Holy We have the sun, the moon, and the stars with the wheel of fortune. You Sagittarius. There's Mama Bear, the Empress. Strength. Someone orphaned. an offer being presented to you, Sag.
this is a father figure. This is a masculine energy. And it could be your child, Sagittarius. A child, a child, a child. What is going on? Holy God. Someone is really protective of you. That's Mama Bear. <laughs> I'm just saying. cycle somebody is very defensive <laughs> it's like look I'm going to say it straight out it's like don't mess with Asaji's children i'm just saying that right now this is mama bear who will go on the attack okay it's like don't you be talking shit here someone is very protective over you and it could be someone who um Like, there's no better mother than an empress. I'm sorry, there isn't. You could have been a single parent. You could have been a single mom. And you looked after your young. You did. A new beginning, a new dawn. What? Okay, so this is
Oh, Jesus, Sagittarius. So you have toxic, uh, a lot of toxic, uh, somebody is judging you. Somebody is judging your family. And I think someone's getting real defensive here. Somebody's been talking shit about you and your family, Sagittarius, particularly your children. If you have children. Somebody is spying. Somebody is defending you. Somebody's been talking shit about you, um, your children, or your family, or all three. And somebody is getting really defensive, getting their back up against the wall here. This is a new beginning, a new dawn, a new day, a new cycle beginning. Somebody has been really spewing out with their tongue, you know, uh, talking about you, your family, your children. They're a big mouth and they should learn to shut their mouth. That's what this is saying. Telling this person to shut their mouth. Someone is defensive of you. Somebody is talking shit about, they think that they know something. They think they're, this is a bitch. I'm sorry, but they are. They're thinking they know all about your business. They're thinking they know all about you. They're thinking that they know, um, There's, um, who is this person? I don't know who this person is, but I'm telling you, you've got someone very protective looking out for you. They're sick and tired of this, per this person um, talking shit about you. They're very defensive. They're protecting. It's like saying, look, you protected me. If this is your children, they're like, look, mom, you protected me. Now let me protect you. Or they or may not be saying that to you, but they're very protective over you. Now... <sighs> Someone is just a fucking big mouth. I hate people like this. I cannot stand their guts. These are always people who think that they, 
you know, they're superior. They think that they know more about your life than you know about your own. This is somebody who hears a little bit of information and likes to like jump to conclusions, twist and distort, talk shit about you, talk shit about your family, thinks that they know all about blah, 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 blah. This is a know-it-all and it could be an in-law. Like a mother-in-law. An ex-wife, and uh, you know, an ex, they're just a fucking know-it-all. And I, you know, someone is trying to bring you peace. You're trying to have peace and harmony in your life and in your family. You're trying to mind your own business. You're paying attention to your work, your family life, your home life. This is family and a home. And, you know, Cancerian energy. You can say what you want about Cancerians, but uh, Cancerians are all, they are the crab. They are territorial. They are extremely possessive protective, I should say, when it comes to home and family. Okay, they are. You may have cancer in your north node. You may have strong placements of cancerian energy in your chart. Uh, it could be your south node, your north node. Don't mess with a fucking mama bear. I, I, that's what's here. They will attack. They will do whatever it takes to protect their young. They... <sighs> oh boy. We are talking mama bear. That's why I saw the mama bear with the two cups. This is Cancerian energy. It doesn't mean you are a Cancerian, but you are in the energy of that protective mama bear energy. This is someone who will protect their home and family no matter what. Don't get in between a mama bear and her cubs or you're going to get your face ripped off I'm serious and for some reason this mama bear around here trust me I'm not exactly sure why like I sit up in the morning and I go outside and I have my coffee and I just be completely still quiet and I can hear them in the bush and I sit there she looks at me I look at her and it's like you don't mess with me I won't mess with you okay I understand she's protective of her young she understands I'm gonna protect my young why do they know that I remember when my kids were little and I was walking through the bush and I had my kids. I had one in a pack sack, you know, those snuggly things on my front. I had my older son walking beside me. I think he was two. And on the trail up ahead, I see a mother bear and her cubs. And I froze. And I let them pass. Just don't disturb a mother bear and her young. I'm telling you, they, they'll be held to pay. They will be justice served. You harm a child of mama bear. And the empress is no better uh, with cancerian energy. Look out. You do 
an empress's child dirty, there will be no mercy. <laughs> I'm saying it straight up. There will be no mercy. Who is this big mouth talking to someone else about something they don't know nothing about? They have no knowledge or information on it. Nothing. Zero. Inventing little fucking stories coming from a fucking page. Who has got no... F they think they're smart, but they got shit for brains. What's this all about, anyway? I'm not sure where Spirit's going with this, but it's definitely saying, you know, uh, you look out for your kids. You know what I'm saying? You're looking out for your children, your home, and your family. Uh, look, somebody is protecting you. Someone is defending you. What are people doing sitting here fucking arguing and fighting about who you are? Talking behind your back. I want to call their asses out and I'm not sure how. <laughs> Sagittarius, I'm not sure how. What the hell is going on? Who is this loudmouth? Who's this loud mouth over here? A fool. What is this fighting and arguing about? Who is this loud mouth? If this is your person's ex, this person should ha be muzzled. I swear to God. Scheming, plotting, planning. Mm. Like mama's off limits here, okay? I don't know if somebody is going on the attack of you. Or if you're masculine energy. You will defend your mama till the day she dies. You can always tell a good energy, a good masculine, is how by how they treat their mother. If they treat their mother like shit. And... <laughs> they're disrespectful to their own goddamn mother. They're going to be disrespectful to you. You can always judge a masculine by how and the relationship they have with their mother. You can. You can. It's like someone making fun of you and someone scrapping, saying you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're talking shit. You don't know nothing. Don't even pretend to know nothing about me or my family. Woo. Somebody is protecting their mama from whoever this little page, a page, thinks they can out just... Oh my God, competing with you, thinking they're lying, they're jealous, and they're fooling this damn ass talking shit to this emperor. I cannot. Look, they're jealous. 
They're scheming, plotting, planning. They're saying this shit to make themselves look above you. Above you. Like they're superior to you. Fuck the hell off, Paige. Paige. Seriously, who is making up lies? Who is competing? Who is absolutely jealous of babe, the, you, Sagittarius, talking shit about your family, your home, you? You fucker. Scared that, see, I told you. This mother effer here is sitting here lying, lying their face off, trying to instill some kind of fear in this person's head so that they walk away. Reject you. Funny thing is, Why do they want to return? Oh, to scare them into returning. What? Even though you're not in a relationship with this person anymore, they're starting to defend you. They're receiving their karma, that's why. This person's been talking to God. They have been. If you've got someone deceased, if you actually have someone who is crossed over, they are really protective over you. Like I said, Mom, you looked after me, now I'm looking after you. That's what this is saying. And you've got someone here who you got some jealous fucking ass karma karmic who they are getting their karma okay so you got someone who's been praying to God talking to God talking to God about uh Yeah. Oh my God. It's just so that this person would stop talking to you. And this person is going... Why was I such a fool? Why? Why? Been lying, making shit up. See, look. Fucking assholes. Stalking, attacking your children, your child. Somebody is getting karma for doing this. I, I'm sorry. They are. 
and it seems to be people who think that they know what's going on when they don't know what's going on. They don't know jack shit. They don't even have the right to say a word. Who the fuck are these people? I cannot. Oh. And I think that this person is even starting to wonder, like, who would say that about someone else? Who would say that about someone else's children? Who would say that about somebody else's uh, family? When they don't know jack shit. You're being blessed. I'm sorry, but you are. See this one? This page inventing stories. Blah, 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 blah. And people are ignorant. And then they wonder why they get karma. They wonder why they get karma. Don't you be doing that. You know, just seriously. Don't come in between. Do not do it. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Somebody been talking shit about you. About your child, your children, your family. Holy fuck. Your money, everything. I'm just sorry, but there's going to be some karma being dished out here. Here you are, yeah, to be fair. I don't even like their face. Who the hell are they anyway? Yeah, this person is like, why didn't I go the distance with uh, Sagittarius why didn't I go the distance why didn't I go the distance somebody has definitely gone on the attack of you and yours and I can certainly tell you that even those people are starting to question they do not believe their bullshit they're like, people are starting to question this person who is beacon off at the mouth. And they're like, who would do that? Who would do that? Who would say that? Who would wish ill upon someone's home, their family, their children? Who, who, what kind of people are questioning their character? That is someone very desperate for attention to do that. Uh, trying to be noticed. I don't think so. So... Those are totem animals of protection. You and your loved ones are safe. There is one big mouthed feminine who don't know what they're talking about, who wants to pick you apart, pick your family apart, pick you apart, period. And it's making other people question their character. Who does that? Brings people's children into the conversation. 
or, or you know, their family and, and pick people apart, especially kids. Shame on them. Inventing stories <laughs> because they're jealous and envious. Obsessed. Obsessed. Obsessed, I'm telling you. Obsessed with the Ten of Swords. It brings them comfort to talk shit about you. I cannot. Someone so obsessed with you, your family, your home, your vehicle, your children. But I'm telling you, the universe to send that bear with their cubs there, that mother bear will go on the attack. That's like spirit saying God is the protector and God will go on the attack fiercely protecting their young. That's your person's frickin' lover. Jealous of you. So they do this. Ten of swords. They're getting karma. I don't know who's doing that. If it's an ex-lover, if it is a Gemini, if it is just an ex or a mother-in-law, they just need to shut up. <laughs> Plain and simple. They need to shut up. Or they're going to mess with the wrong character, the wrong bear one day. <laughs> Take care.